Well, across Canada and in the Arctic, the University of Victoria operates a network of subsea stations to study the waters around this country. And now it has a new underwater observatory in one of the most remote regions of the world, the seafloor of Antarctica. It's a partnership with the Spanish Antarctic station Juan Carlos I on the South Shetland Islands, an archipelago just off the continent. Mike Armstrong explains what they're hoping to find. Spanish researchers weren't supposed to deploy this Canadian underwater observatory for weeks. Instead, it was towed out and deployed on the seafloor Tuesday, weeks early. The Spanish team says when the weather cooperates in Antarctica, you take advantage of it. You need to work with good weather. So when we have a window of good conditions, we always take this benefit. The operation went off without a hitch. Within hours, the device was beaming information back to Canada. In fact, before Canadian researchers were even looking for it. All of the sensors are delivering data in almost real time. Kate Moran is the head of Ocean Networks Canada. It's a research facility out of the University of Victoria. Now, the ONC has more than 12,000 ocean sensors around Canada's west coast and the north, but is for the first time looking south. Spain operates two facilities in Antarctica, but only in the warmer months from December to March. It wanted to monitor water and to do it year round. When they saw that we were doing these kind of observations in the Arctic, they wanted to see them done in the Ar Antarctic as well. The first part of the project installed was this device dropped into the water only about a kilometer from the Spanish station. The observatory is about three meters tall and sits on the seafloor at a depth of about 25 meters. It's connected by a subsea cable to a buoy on shore about 200 meters away. That buoy is then transmitting data by satellite every 30 minutes. It's really understanding the, the actual characteristic of the ocean. How much oxygen is in the ocean? What's the temperature? What's the, the salinity? What are the nutrients? The data is meant to help researchers monitor how climate change is affecting Antarctica and hopefully lead to solutions. There is a second part of the project. Two Canadian floats that will monitor the surface of the water are set to be launched in a few weeks. That will, of course, be weather permitting. Mike Armstrong, Global News.